Have you ever tried to keep track of how many plastics you use in one day? If you did this, you'd discover that plastics are pretty much everywhere. They're at work, school, grocery stores, airports, shopping malls, restaurants, and if you went to space, I bet you'd find some there too. Houston, we found some plastic. For better or worse, plastics have become a unavoidable part of modern society because they're cheap and convenient. But what happens to the millions of tons of plastics that we produce each year? And should we even be using this extremely long-lasting material? Wow. Sustainable explainable. Mmm. Plastic gets a bad rap, and for pretty good reason. Even though it's really easy to throw away, it sticks around way longer than we really want it to. Turns out a shocking 90% of plastics that we make end up in the landfill. Ooh, it's not recycled. And sadly, the landfill is the best case scenario. Plastics have a sneaky tendency of finding their way into every corner of our environment. Some of the plastic pollution is really hard to miss. Like the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. But others, they slip into some places that you may not expect. Hmm. Plastic particulates, or microplastics, they've been found in our soil, water, even the air that we breathe. And recently, we discovered that microplastics are in human blood. Like in here? So a life in plastic. Is it really fantastic? Maybe Barbie got it wrong. Think about this familiar guy. He is literally portable liquid life. So useful for a day, then you throw him away. He spends the next 500 years trying to break down, but ultimately just clogging up the environment. That means that he spends 0.0005% of his life quenching your thirst. And then the other 99.0005% being a pesky environmental pollutant. And it's not just water bottles. These are all of the plastic products, single-use plastic, that have a similar story of being used once, single-use plastic, and then thrown away. They're called single-use plastics. Now don't get me wrong, plastics aren't all bad. They're durable, so that means that they last a really long time. A terrible quality for a piece of garbage. But a great quality to have for something that you want to use for a long time. Like patio furniture, keyboards, and car parts. There's definitely some plastics that need to go. I'm looking at you, water bottles and clean wrap. But there are some plastics that we are figuring out how to recycle efficiently. Let's go down the plastic rabbit hole for a second. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> it is cozy down here. So what exactly is plastic? Basically, it's polymer chains of molecules that can be molded into many different shapes. It's kind of like a durable man-made clay. There's a bunch of different types of plastics that are made, and each one has their own unique qualities. And because of these qualities, some plastics are more easily recyclable than others. You've seen this symbol before, and you've probably thought, that is recyclable. Um, not exactly. It's actually telling you what type of plastic that you've got. It's kind of like a name tag for plastics. Here are all of the plastics that you may run into. But let's meet the recycling stars. First up, PD is number one PET the most recyclable. He's a clear, thinner plastic, often used for disposable bottles and containers. PD's all about those single-use plastics. Durable Debbie is number two HDPE. She's tough and is used in containers like laundry detergent, milk jugs, basically anything with a handle. DJ Poly P is number five, polypropylene. They're used in a variety of different forms, from yogurts to winter clothing. They're the Beyonce of the group and really can do it all. When you put these plastics, one, two, and five, into the recycling bin, they have a higher probability of going to the recycling facility and actually given a second life. So, what does the next life of plastics look like? The infinite triangle loop may have you thinking that water bottles and takeout containers are endlessly recycled over and over again, forever reincarnated into new products. But that's not really the way that it works. Remember those polymer chains that we were talking about? Well, every time a plastic goes through the recycling process, those polymers, they get shorter and they break down and it degrades the quality of the plastic. But what if we rethought the way that we use and recycle plastic products? Lightly recycled products are still durable, and using these materials to make long-lasting items may be a way to give plastics a better purpose. Hey! Oh, come on! Yeah. But what does plastic circularity look like for us? 
the consumer. Step one. We need to cut down on our single-use plastic consumption. Just say no, bro. Step two. Swap out everyday throwaway plastics with reusable ones. Come on. Look how cool this reusable water bottle is. Step three. Recycle responsibly. Make sure that you clean off all of the food waste of items that you put into the recycling bin. Everywhere is different, so check to see what your city recycles. The plastic problem is definitely a big one. So let's figure out how to consume plastic products responsibly before they consume the place that we call home. In the meantime, check out the resources that we have in our bio. Whoa, 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 bah. whoa. Thanks for watching Sustainable Explainable. If you enjoyed our plastics video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our website because we have a lot of cool resources that you, your kids, or your business could use. So head on over to sustainable-earth.org. You can click up there to watch more Sustainable Explainables. And stay up to date with us on our social media. Does anybody know how to...